The duty to report violence against children is our responsibility as care providers if we believe that a child is specifically coming to harm by the by their parents or by their care provider. However, the likelihood of needing to report is very rare. It can be tricky to know whether or not to report the situation. Uh, the fact is, is that it's actually complicated and not black and white. Uh, when deciding whether or not to report, it's important to acknowledge for oneself and also for one's client that uh, if there is a suspicion of child maltreatment, then midwives have a duty to report. That being said, we also need to recognize the potential harm that can come out of child protection. And so uh, I think it's important to work with a client um, to explore the difference so that you're clear, the both of you, on the difference between disclosure and reporting, the potential impacts, and that you're working with the client through that to navigate that situation. There's not a clear answer about should I report. Of course, if things are really scary in extreme situations, you do have a duty to report. And But those situations, particularly for midwives, don't come up often and often they have. Um, they have time and the ability to be talking to people prior to the baby being born if, the, if they see a lot of red flags. Um, there has been a lot of abuse by the very people we report to, particularly in Indigenous communities. And um, there are now Indigenous organizations that are helpful. I think it's really important that we examine our, again, examine our biases because not every family will look the same as ours. People won't parent necessarily the same way we do. Um, they're like standards of living might be different than ours and that doesn't necessarily mean that the child is coming to harm or that we that we should report this to um, another authority. So just examining our our own judgments around what how other people choose to do things and clearly defining what um, violence against children actually looks like and if you don't know speak to other people who might have other ideas. Um, speak to people in your community, um, other care providers that you trust to gather more information about when you might consider reporting. I think we should also consider offering supports and resources and education to our clients before we get to a place of feeling like we need to report. Sometimes people just need that extra care and support and they have limited resources and um, limited mental capacity to um, to meet their parenting goals. So um, offering those things before we get into um, involving um, other authorities because um, the reality is that um, reporting can negatively impact a child for the rest of their life and negative, negatively affect the parents. And we know that there is an astronomically high number of Indigenous children in care. Um, and we need to, our society needs to examine that to understand why that's occurring.